All right, turning now to politics, lawmakers gathering in Las Vegas for the Republican Jewish Coalition and many top party leaders speaking at the event, some with scathing words about the Republicans' disappointing performance in the midterm elections. Others taking aim at former President Trump, calling for the party to distance themselves from him as he launches another bid for the White House. News Nation's Robert Sherman live for us in Vegas at the event this weekend. Robert. Hey there, Natasha. And the biggest names in Republican politics from across the country are here in Las Vegas this weekend. And one of the key questions on their minds is, should the Republican Party stay the course or should it change directions? But now we have the House, and I think very soon, and next one we'll have the Senate, we'll have the House, and we're going to have the White House, so we'll be able to do some tremendous things. In the wake of his announcement, he's running again for the highest office in the land. Former President Donald Trump spoke via a live feed to attendees at the Republican Jewish Coalition's annual leadership meeting in Las Vegas, receiving a warm welcome. The first big cattle call ahead of the 2024 election with some of the biggest names in the GOP many of whom have been floated as potential presidential candidates themselves. Some, like former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, dropping hints of his future aspirations. Who, who knows, the next time we're together, we could be on a stage, multiple podiums, who knows who else might be with us? Yeah, who knows? And, uh, and, and, and who, who knows who will between us, and who knows what nicknames we might have? Others, like Senator Rick Scott, advocating for first and foremost, honing in on the Republican message. What I think the issue is, we got to make sure we're very clear about what we stand for. Um, we can't, you know, we can't be compromising. We got to stand for the things we believe in and actually be helping on getting them done. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, however, calling on the party to cast aside former President Trump. We keep losing and losing and losing. And the fact of the matter is, the reason we're losing is because Donald Trump has put himself before everybody else. Same for Maryland Governor Larry Hogan, who thinks the former president is bleeding support. I, certainly he's got a big chunk of voters, but it's not nearly a majority. It used to be an overwhelming majority, and now it's, it's uh, pot potentially maybe 30% of the uh, base Republican vote. But Senator Ted Cruz says, let whatever's gonna happen, happen. There's some people who are clearly positioning to run against him. I, I don't think he will be uncontested. I think there will be candidates who run against him. I don't, I don't know what will ultimately happen. I believe in the democratic process. I believe the voters can and should sort that out. So there you go, a mixed bag of sentiments here between Republicans on the ground in Las Vegas. We're going to hear from two more big names tonight, former ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley and the keynote speaker, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Natasha. All right, Robert Sherman live for us in Las Vegas. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.